Hi everybody, how are you? So firstly, I just want to start with saying I'm not Canadian, I'm actually from the South. I'm super feminine, very much so gay, and I'm an artist. Cellist, dancer, choreographer, all of that. I moved here from Harlem, New York City, dancing for the Dance Theater of Harlem, the very first ballet company made for black people, traveling 36 cities in three different countries around the world, helping dismantle the way people see black people doing ballet. I left New York City to come to Canada in hopes of running away from racism, only to find myself experiencing more racism than I've ever even experienced being raised in the South. I've been called a nigger so many times before the age of 10, I thought it wasn't something I should even be offended about. People. Accessibility is not the same as diversity. You guys hire people to have my headshot on your face, on, on your Instagram and on all of that, but little did you know, my lips were Photoshopped. So are we really gonna talk about how we want this Eurocentric art form to be so palatable and that we must adjust people's faces and their personalities and everything they come from and all of their ancestry to be diminished for what a look? That shows that there's no such thing as artistic and moral leadership going hand in hand, just artistic leadership. Artistic leadership is nothing but optical illusion. It's an illusion. Where's the moral leadership? I can dance circles around these white people, but I've never gotten a chance to even be seen by a choreographer at the National Ballet of Canada. Every company around the world has called me, Nicholas, are you okay? Uh, New York City Ballet has called me, PMB has called me, Dutch National Ballet has called me, Ballet West has called me because they know that I'm speaking out about this. Everyone but my director, Karen Kane, has not called me. What has Karen Kane said to me? You need anger management. You are crazy. You are vindictive. We cannot trust you. We do not listen to you. Why? Because she's afraid of what the truth is. People like to open up their mouth for black dick, but they don't want to open up their mouth for black issues. I think that's an issue. You're sexualizing us, but you're not gonna give us some food to eat. You wanna bring us to the table, but you're not gonna ask if we're hungry. We're eating, but you don't wanna ask if we've had enough. That's an issue. Accessibility, it's white supremacy for you to even think. Kids in Scarborough can even afford to get a car right out here to the National Ballet Canada to even audition. Get your asses here, get to Scarborough, bring them to the kids so that you can let them know that you want them to be a part of your organization. Don't just throw some freaking flyers on the internet saying let's just let them pick up the scraps. You guys made the scrap for us to pick up. It is not our problem. It's your problem to fix. You need to stop making this a black issue. It's a white issue. You need to stop empathizing with our problems and understand why you created them. These are shambles you have created for us to maneuver through. And it is killing us on the inside. Why am I still doing this in 2020? That is an issue. Why is it that there are so many people around the world who are all reaching out to me saying, I've experienced the same thing. I wish my experience was unique. My experience is not unique. This is not just the ballet, this is the orchestra, this is the opera, this is theater, this is fashion, for crying out loud. This is acting, you only wanna hire black people for just ghetto, ghetto roles, for the thug brothers, but you don't wanna hire someone who's running a Fortune 500 company, now do you? No, you guys don't, because you guys wanna hire diversity, equity, inclusion, task force director, but you don't wanna hire black people in artistic positions of power. You're gonna have another tokenizing position just to keep the white people in check, giving them get out of jail free cards for being fucking racist, excuse my language, but are you serious? Why don't you have a black choreographer? I make ballets, but what was told to me, minutes before going on stage, Letting you know, Nicholas, you're not a choreographer. Stop working on it. You're taking up time. So you can give Guillaume Cote, white man, $2 million on a silver platter to put together a ballet, but you can't let a black man work on his craft during a lunch break. Guys, it's time for us to come together, and I'm inviting you to be a part of this organization. You guys have to know that you are just as, much, just as important as anyone else. Actually, more, because let's not forget, we're the ones who created the dance. Thank you. Yeah.